What's up internet this is Manish from rebellionrider.com and today in this SQL tutorial we will learn about on delete casket clause of foreign key but before that I'll suggest you to watch my previous video on foreign key and on delete sentinel to have better understanding of this concept you can also visit my website to read about on delete casket clause link is in the description below you can also download the SQL script which we will be going to create in this tutorial link is right here I shared all my resources used in this tutorial using copy cloud copy cloud gives 15 GB of free cloud storage on joining but you can earn extra 5 GB by using my referral link means you can get total 20 GB of free cloud storage pretty great isn't it to get extra 5 GB you just have to use my referral link which is in the description below to sign up then just verify your email address and download copy cloud on your desktop or laptop and you will receive 20 GB instantly okay let's jump over SQL developer now again we will be using parent table authors and child table books parent table author has two columns author ID and author name where author ID column is primary key I have already inserted some data into this table to demonstrate on delete cascade clause as this is a simple table with primary key you can watch my SQL tutorial 17 on how to define primary key and child table book has three column book ID book title and book author ID book author ID is our foreign key column for this tutorial let's recreate the child table with on delete cascade clause of foreign key so let's create the child table box book underscore call three underscore fk is a user defined constraint name you can give whatever you want I just specify BOK for table name books call three for uh, column three as we are defining our foreign key over column three book author ID and fk is for foreign key as we have to define on delete cascade clause on our foreign key so we have to specify on delete cascade right here as column 3 book author ID is referenced from author ID column of table authors therefore it must have the same data type and column width as of author ID column of author table execute table books created now we have to insert some data as you can see I'm going to insert five rows in our book table select them all and execute them all we have five rows let's check here is our book table here is our book table with three column book ID book title book author ID and uh, data we have five rows here as you can see one two three four five now let's check since we have foreign key with on delete cascade clause on child table books therefore it means that if we delete a row from a parent table authors then the corresponding value to that row in the child table will get deleted automatically that is the purpose of on delete cascade clause so let's delete first row of parent table authors where we have author id one let me show you here is our author table and we are going to delete this uh, sorry row one where we have author ID one and author name Bob let's adjust this SQL developer so let's delete this row from parent table and see what happened with the corresponding row in child table so let's have our child table here this is our child table and now let's delete row one from author table for that just write delete
ओके एग्जीक्यूट वन रो डिलेटेड ओके फर्स्ट रो इज डिलेटेड फ्रॉम ऑथर टेबल लेट्स रिफ्रेश द डेटा ऑफ चाइल्ड टेबल हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव फाइव रोज नाउ लेट्स रिफ्रेश देर वी गो टू रोज रो वन एंड रो फाइव आर डिलेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली दैट्स वॉट ऑन डिलीट कास्केट क्लॉज डज Hope you learned something. You can visit my website to read more about on delete cascade. Here, you can find the link in the description below. Help me spreading the word by sharing my video with your friends on your social media. That's it for today. We will see you soon with another SQL tutorial. Till then, take care. This is Manish. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.